from the report that we are issuing the entire the Good evening. Let's look at the board and the board Father, we thank you so much for this land of opportunity, this land of God of promise. We pray even now, Father, that you would descend upon this place this evening in a very special way. We begin, Father, this evening with prayer, this event, this occasion, Father, with prayer. Because we recognize that you are our source. You are our sustainer. And Father, because we recognize that except the Lord build a house, they labor and make a building. And except the Lord keep the city, they labor but in vain. And so, Father, we welcome your presence on this occasion to be with us. Thank you so much, Father. For the craftsmen and women, for the artisans, for the entrepreneurs, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for their gifts and their talents. And Father, we pray that you would cause this place to be a blessing to them, to this island. That you would cause this place, O oh Lord, to be a place, O oh Lord, of success, a prosperous place. Show favor, Lord, to this place, not just today, Lord, but from this day forward. We now commit this time into your hands. Father, as we acknowledge that you are our God and our King, let your blessings, Lord, be upon this evening's year. Let your blessings be upon this people. Thank you, Father, for the vision that has started this work. The visionaries, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father, for them. And we ask that you continue to bless them, Lord. Cross for them and keep them. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bishop Michael Elder School Choir for their beautiful rendition of the National Anthem. Uh, 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 
Mr. Adison Key, the executive chairman of the Agricultural and Industrial Corporation, Sir Bernard. Good evening to all of you. Minister Cartwright, Mr. Blackman, Minister Donaldson, Senator, Mr. Gray, President of the Ford Authority, Deputy Chairman of BAIC, Mr. Pennell, Mr. Alexander Williams, He abandoned me from Abaco, so I had to come all the way to Grand Bowman to look him up. So he's chief administrator. So today I'm very pleased to be here in Freeport on this very special occasion. It's always such a pleasure. I remember last year when we had this ceremony and just after that the rain came down and we were pretty much rained out. But thank the Lord today we are beautiful sunshine here in beautiful Freeport. It is always such a pleasure for me to be in the magic city of Freeport here on, Scen here on scenic Grand Bahama Island. My visit comes at a time when I truly believe that Freeport is right and ready to buoy up the Bahamas in these stormy economic times. Freeport has the space and it has the ready-made infrastructure with the capacity for hundreds of thousands of people. It can accommodate the capital of the Bahamas with ease, while downtown now undergoes badly needed renovations. We haven't even scratched the surface when it comes to the solid contribution Freeport can and should be making to the economy of all the Bahamas. I admire the faith of Freeporters. I admire your stick to itness. Above, above all, I admire your independence. The world is going through an economic crisis. There is a shortage of money, it is said. Workers worldwide are losing their jobs. Hundreds of hotel workers have already been laid off in Nassau. Grand Bahama is no exception. Nevertheless, as I drove through this island, I could not help but see opportunities. With things the way they are in Nassau, and not about to get any better soon, perhaps now is the time for Bahamians to take advantage of the metropolis that Freeport really is. I see Grand Bahama as a sleeping giant, needing just a little nudge to waken it to the glory it once knew as a seat of commerce. And that is why we at Bahamas Agricultural and Industrial Corporation, BAIC, are here today. It is a, an expression of our confidence in Grand Bahamas potential. I shall return soon so that we can have a good talk about agriculture and livestock, livestock rearing, at which Grand Bahamians are known to be quite good. We want to introduce you to a new and innovative ways of food production, because we who live in these islands and are millions of tourists, we need to eat. You may have heard that we are placing orders for three or four trailer loads of pineapple slips, cassava sticks, and plantain and banana suckers. These are top of the shelf breeds and will be distributed free of charge to farmers throughout.